Welcome to another video from Digital Dovetail. In this video, you're going to import an image into Dr. Engrave and see how you can prepare it in different ways for engraving. I'm going to get an image of a mouse, so I'm going to type on mouse coloring pages. Images. This is the one I want, so I'm going to click on it. You get better quality if you save it from here. Right mouse click, save image as, some more pictures, I'm going to copy it into a Windows bitmap, I'm going to go right mouse click, open with paint, file, Save as mouse and do a monochrome bitmap. Save. And also, I'm going to do it as a color bitmap. Open with paint, file, save as. Save. Now I'm going to Doctor Engrave. File import. I'm in pictures. Color. Open on here with the color ones. You've got a sliding gradient, so you can change the intensity of the image. This one's worked fine, even lowering it. Sometimes they don't work at all, or they don't work if you lower it. Delete that. File, import, mouse mono for the monochrome. Open. Doesn't have the scale. It's just that. I'm gonna click on it and make it smaller. Hold down the shift key. Edit undo. I let go of the shift key too soon. We can engrave it like that. Might need a little bit of tidying up, like around the tail there. Or you can go fill. Or engrave it in that format. Or we can create a single line drawing. I'm clicking on it. So that was the polyline tool. Double click to finish. I'll just change this to red. Shape. Properties. Change that to red. Okay. Now the colors in this program are just an order of engraving. And when we were to engrave this, we would, if you had red, you just wouldn't engrave the red. It also makes it, so it's easy to do this. So polyline tool, and you just, every time you click, you change direction. So it's just a series of straight lines, but you can always go back later and you add more, tidy up your vertex points. And you do that for the whole drawing. Now I've already done some adjustments. So this is one I've, I've completed. And if I zoom in, I'll try and grab the red, drag it away, zoom out. And what you need to do now when you've done that is you need to go in and you need to tidy it up. And adjust things. You can add more vertex points. Gun sights. Insert a vertex. 
these can be moved with the arrow keys on your keyboard as well to get more fine adjustment and you just add them and tidy things up click on the ear here vertex points I need to link that one in I'll add some gun sights insert a vertex and I'll just move things slightly you can do it with the mouse or with the keyboard and just the arrows on the keyboard so I've tidied it all up and it's really looking sharp and it's now ready to be set up for engraving Thanks for watching another video by Digital Dovetail, like and subscribe.